I think this is attempt number five. <laughs> I'm just having one of those days. It's been one of those days, and I'm sitting here babysitting a sale while waiting to get ready to go to Derek's gig tonight. It's the one that's in South Haven. This will be the third one they do locally since this band hooked up and started playing, and I will be uh, going. I've gone to the other two, one time with Skylar, the other time alone, and then this time, Derek has a friend. Her name is Terry. She's from Nashville. I think she's from Wisconsin, but she lives in Nashville, and they're very good friends. She's good friends with, like, all the band people, and she is uh, here in town, so she's going to be going, so I'll have her to sit with, and my plan is, but I can't make any promises, I would like to record a couple of songs. I haven't done that before because Derek, you know, we weren't sure about putting that on his channel. He didn't want stuff that wasn't monetized. You can't monetize music like that because of copyright. But now that he's done some bass covers, he sees that he got some really good results with that, even though it's not monetized. So I asked him if I were able to record, would you want that on your channel? And he said, yes, absolutely. So I can't make any promises because I just don't know how I'm going to feel. And it's impossible for me to do from where I'm sitting because people stand up and they're in the way. They, they stand on the dance floor. I can kind of go around to the side and... Uh, and I, that would be a good position for me because I'd be up against a wall, so I know I'm not bothering anybody else's view. But it's, uh, it's just a hard thing to do. Sometimes I'll be halfway through the song, and then I realize I had zoomed and never zoomed, you know, whatever. So it's stressful. It can be stressful for me to try to record a whole song. Uh, I'll give it a shot if I feel up to it. I don't know. And like I said, right now I'm babysitting a sale, and uh, I'm going to be shutting it down shortly. I just had a very busy day. I wanted to go swimming, but I didn't get around to that. I wanted to record, but I wanted to do a car vlog. My plan was to go walk at that park that I used to walk at and also feed the turtles. I went there one time with Skylar to feed the ducks. I had some um, food in the freezer still that I had made and froze for my mother, and I said, let's go feed the ducks. But there were no ducks, not a duck in sight. And I said, well, maybe if we throw some things, they can hear that, and maybe they'll come from afar. And I tossed something, and it got eaten right away. I said, oh, you know, at least there's fish. So we threw a couple things, and it was indeed fish, but then I said, what's that? Something stuck up and was just like coming like this in the water. It was a turtle. It was the cutest thing. So we started feeding that turtle, and then more and more came. And, you know, they would be like almost halfway across this pond that we're at, and we could just see their little head stick up and like just sticks out of the water coming to us. And we got them to be able to come so close that we could see them, probably had eight or nine. I mean, there was a nice bunch of turtles and they were about like this big, the shell. And uh, we could see them swimming and there was fish eating and turtles, no ducks ever came. And I, I was hooked to that. So every now and then I like to go. And even if I just have stuff, I still have stuff in the freezer from my mother. It's a little at a time, I will get rid of it all, go feed the turtles. But then the second time we went, Derek came with us. He wanted to see the turtles. And this time we had ducks too. So that was exciting, except Skylar's a little bit afraid of the ducks. She's petrified of geese, uh, not as afraid of ducks, but she, she didn't really like it. But we fed all of them and there was more turtles that came. And then I went alone another time and I probably had 20 turtles. I just love feeding them. I know some people are going to say you shouldn't be feeding, you know, whatever. I, I'm feeding the fucking turtles, all right? I wanted to go do that today, and I didn't get around to it. I actually went to Derek's. I made some pasta salad for him, and when I got there, Terry was there, his friend. So I sat and talked with her. I also wanted to go swimming. I didn't get around to doing that. 
the pool was closed yesterday on a Friday and I don't know why and it worried me thinking the pool was closed again for the you know the rest of the season and today it was open my neighbor said and I didn't get to go see so I'm a little sad because I know it's you know coming to the point where they're going to be closing that up and um, I would have liked to have gone but the day just uh, I just don't have time and now I am sitting here finishing up this sale and then I'm just gonna go change, get ready, and go out tonight. And that will be um, hopefully fun, I'm sure. You know, I've talked about it before. You know, I used to drink when I went out. I'm not a drinker anymore. It's different, let's just put it that way. I'm not tempted to drink, but I would not wanna go like in a bar often because I think I could be tempted after a while. But, you know, this is just once in a while, and you know, I don't want anybody to think I'm going to be drinking, because I'm not. I would not let myself. I mean, if it bothered me and I was tempted, I would leave. But I'm hoping I can stay, uh, unless I'm really tired, then, then I might leave a little early. I don't remember what else I wanted to tell you. Oh, I do have a doctor appointment because when I went to the ER, I'm concerned about the scan that I had and they said that they have self-pay doctors there. So I thought, um, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe a self-pay doctor might be a little, you know, less expensive than a doctor who doesn't normally take self-pay. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. Um, I just know that, you know, in Maine, uh, appointments are expensive. I could not believe when they told me that the appointment was only $65. <gasps> yes, 65 bucks. I will go uh, even if I just have sniffles. I don't care. So that's not going to ever stop me from going to a doctor. It's not like, you know, two or three hundred bucks a pop. And I do know that my primary care in Maine for a physical, it was like uh, almost 300 around there. And, you know, I know that's a physical, but God, it takes my temperature, you know, checks my ankles, you know, <laughs> it's nothing. So I'm very happy. I'm going October 3, and I know this doctor, it's a, actually a nurse practitioner, uh, he or she, I don't know why I think it's a woman. I don't really remember the name, but I'm thinking it's a woman. I would like that. I know that they're not going to be able to look at that scan and say anything definitely, so I'm hoping that there's a urologist in the system there that can look at that scan and, and tell me if, you know, we need to worry about that mass. Uh, no kidney stones is what I was told, so I, I am relieved about that. And now I'm just feeling so much better that I am actually going to be able to have a doctor that I can see. That doesn't take care of anything catastrophic, but we're, you know, taking steps here in the right direction. So I'm just happy about that. I don't know what that bill is yet from the ER. Maybe it's not as expensive as it would be in Maine. Maine's a very expensive place. You know, it's just, it is. And I'm glad to be in a less expensive place. I'm going to sign off because I am, uh, I got stuff to do. I want to get ready to go out and I'm going to shut down my sale just before I leave and I will be back with more soon. Fingers crossed that I can record something there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.